hey hello everyone and welcome to dynamics con live i'm thrilled to be here with you all so my name is hitesh ingare i am a senior consultant at cloudfront technologies based in mumbai india so today i am excited to share some insight and experience from my nearly 4 years of working in erp particularly focusing on the microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation and during our time together in this session i hope to bring some valuable insight that you can take away so after this session if you have any question related to this topic please feel free to reach out to me via email linkedin or through my youtube channel or blog where i regularly share the content related to the dynamics erp you can also check out my youtube channel or blog website so let me kick off our session today by introducing the topic in hand so our topic is improving efficiency in supply chain with dynamics 365 vendor collaboration portal so in this session we will be focusing into the vendor collaboration portal with dynamics 365 finance and operation this portal are important in streamlining the communication and the process between the companies and their vendors so this is ultimately enhancing the efficiency throughout the supply chain operations so if you are keen into optimizing your supply chain operations and exploring how you can improve the vendor relationships so you are in a right place so let's take a moment to outline the agenda for the today's session so first we will discuss what is the vendor collaboration portal we'll start by defining what exactly a vendor collaboration portal is and why it's becoming an important tool in a modern supply chain management next we'll move to the capabilities of the vendor collaboration portal we will explore the various capabilities and the functionalities offered by the vendor collaboration portal moving on we'll see the vendor collaboration setups in dynamics c65 finance and operation so i'll go through some uh, specific settings and configuration which are required to use the vendor collaboration portal after this setup we'll move to the demonstration where i'll walk you through a demonstration showcasing a vendor collaboration portal in action uh, with uh, fno environment and finally we will go for the q and a so where we will open the floor for your question and please feel free to ask anything you would like to clarification or inquiries about this related topics so i hope this agenda is clear for the everyone so let's start our session so first as per our agenda we will discuss what is vendor collaboration portal is so in simple word vendor so vendor collaboration enables or improves the communication and the collaboration between the organization supplier so let's say we have so many vendors who are supplying us a spare parts and so many other things so throughout the vendor collaboration module it improves the communication with each of our vendor because when we have the vendor collaboration portal we'll be providing access to each of our vendor to our vendor collaboration portal so vendor can easily log in to the vendor collaboration portal and have a unified view of the purchase order and rfq document created for that particular vendor even in the organization level so if you want to send a purchase order request to a particular vendor you do not need to manually perform a email notification or send a rfq document as a pdf uh, format to the vendor you can directly uh, send it both rfqs and purchase order through a uh, dynamics there is a no need of uh, doing the integration with the vendor system all these complex things are not required so moving forward the capabilities of the vendor collaboration portal so uh, first is a view pending task vendor can effortlessly monitor and manage all the pending task assigned to them vendor can just simply log in into the vendor collaboration portal and they can view all the pending tasks against them next is uh, purchase order management vendor have the visibility of the all purchase order are created for them and waiting for their action they can accept decline or selectively select the specific line or uh, within the purchase order 
Next is a flexible order management vendor can propose a new delivery date or terms of delivery for the purchase order through directly vendor portal. Next is RFQ visibility vendor can access and review the request for quotations uh, document created for them so they can take a decision based on their RFQ and as they can also participate in the bidding process through their vendor portal. So next is similarly bidding participation vendor can actively participate in the bid as submitting proposal and quote directly through their portal and these all proposal all these submitted proposal or changes like change of delivery date, change of terms of delivery are real time update in the finance and operation headquarters. So last is our class capabilities stating that all actions taken by the vendor and within the portal are seamlessly synchronized with the HQ in real time providing a version information so both parties can see the history uh, with the version, uh, version numbers. So these are the high level capabilities of the vendor collaboration portal. So next we will move to the vendor collaboration portal setup in Dynamics Finance and Operation. So here we will see the two setups. First we will provide the access to one of our vendor for the vendor login to the vendor portal and the second option uh, will make some change some setting for the vendor level for specific to the vendor actions in the vendor portal. So let's get started with the setup for pro providing the access to the vendor collaboration portal to a specific vendor. So for this, first we need to identify the vendor and get into the vendor record to perform these setups. So to get into the vendor portal, we'll navigate to the account payable module and open the all vendor section and we are going to choose the vendor uh, fabric and electronics for this session and the setting up the vendor collaboration portal for this vendor. So first step to provide the access to the vendor portal for a specific vendor, check the view contacts option. Here if there is any contact available for the vendor, so this particular contact will be a person who is representing the vendor and that person will be automatically be having the access of the vendor portal. So here you can add the number of contacts here and all them will be added in the user as a user in the system and all of them will be having the access of the vendor portal. So at the moment I don't have any uh, contact available for this fabric and electronics. So now we will create a new vendor contact for this we will click on this contact in the add contact option we will click on new and create a new context so I as a name as a Bob and the second name as a Miller and just save this option. So in the next step now is to get into the provision vendor user. So for this just let's click on this provision vendor user under the request section. So here we will be providing with the email ID that the vendor contact will be using in the future for login into the vendor portal. So for uh, for this session I have entered the vendor email id as my email id and that in the next section we have the option to select the which legal entity you want to use this vendor. So it's like a legal entity specific uh, vendor access. So here I'm providing the access to the vendor for USMF legal entity. Below that we have assigned user roles. So here uh, we have two roles maintain vendor document and maintains the vendor contact. So I am assigning both the uh, user role for this specific vendor. And submit the uh, business justification. Please approve this vendor for the vendor portals. So that's just a request for to my supervisor who will be later approving my request to add him as a user in the system. So after this inserting all the data and selecting the uh, legal entities and the user role, uh, we will submit this option. Once, once we submit this option, system will be automatically initiate the process of adding the particular email ID as a user in the system. So, so here I am moving to the next slide. So in the vendor collaboration user request, you can see the status of the vendor collaboration user request and we also get a uh, message that the vendor collaboration access setup 
has been successfully applied and request is created for the new user has been submitted once our request is processed the status of the request will be changed to completed so to see the status of that our request we will open the vendor collaboration user request option here our request is created with the request id and our status of the request is pending for approvals so in the next step once the our request is approved by our supervisor for creating this vendor as a user in the system system initiate the uh, workflow for this uh, step so there is a three approval steps required for this workflow first is approval to the new user request so once supervisor approve our first request system initiate the second second step which is send azure id a uh, user invitation so system send uh, azure id invitation for the email id which we have inserted in the vendor level contact section once this second uh, request is also approved we'll move to the third approval uh, option which is approval creation of the ax user so once this third option is also create uh, also approved system automatically create a new user for this particular uh, vendor in the user section once this approval creation is done in the next step our status of the vendor uh, request is changed to the completed and you can also navigate to the system admin section under the user you will see that our new user uh, bob miller is created with the email id which we have assigned uh, for this vendor so the la the second setup which we have which we required uh, for use this vendor collaboration module we again open that vendor fabric and electronics under the general tab we have the option of uh, collaboration activation so meaning of this collab uh, collaboration activation is uh, we have two option uh, we have actually we have three option not active which is which we generally not use when we use the vendor portal so currently we have two option active po is not auto confirm and active po is auto confirm so for the first option once the we send the purchase order to the vendor for their confirmation on the vendor portal and the vendors accept vendor confirm this purchase order but if we have selected the second option which is po is not auto confirm system not automatically confirm the purchase order in the dynamics uh, dirichifa fno headquarter so we still need some manual work uh, to uh, confirm this purchase order but in the last option po is auto confirm if this option is selected for the vendor and the vendor confirm this purchase order in their vendor portal system automatically uh, confirm this purchase order in the headquarter level so we have generally suggested the third option to be set so we have remove all the manual work and system automatically confirm the purchase order or in the headquarter in real time so that's it for this uh, uh, vendor collaboration portal we have just two setups needs to be done one is providing access to the vendor and the second is on the vendor levels uh, submit the option is auto confirm or po is auto confirm or po is not need to be auto confirm it's in real need some manual work or not so next we'll move to the vendor login for, uh, for the vendor login we just now copy the environment link and provided that environment link to the vendor so now a uh, vendor can uh, uh, open this environment link into the browser and log in with the email id which they have which we have used as a contact on the a uh, vendor level so here you can see that we have log in with our new user bob miller with the email id so now just let's get into the dashboard so uh, we have vendor information so vendor information dashboard is where the vendor contact can quickly view who who has the access of vendor portal in this particular company likewise he has other option as well so we will perform all one scenario which cover all the option from purchase order confirmation vendor bidding invoicing so we will see all this option in our uh, demonstration so here we have one more important options against the vendor bidding so if you go into the vendor bidding so so this is where vendor will be view all the rfqs a uh, request or quotation which are waiting for him to participate in if he is already in participated then he can get into the bid accept it 
and do the changes so let's see how we can uh, do the rfq process using the vendor collaboration so in the demonstration we will start our demonstration uh, with the creating the rfq process using the uh, vendor collaboration portal so we'll start with the demonstration so for this demonstration we will go through the one scenario where we will set up a supplier as a user in our system and provide the supplier with the access to the vendor collaboration portal so this step which we have already performed in our uh, vendor vendor portal setups in directory F fno so after this we will create an rfq within our company and then we send that rfq to the vendor so i transmitted that i will send that my rfq to my vendor company so then vendor will receive that rfq document through the vendor collaboration portal and vendor process the rfq by participate in the the bid process vendor did the quotation and then respond back to the document to our company to evaluate their rfq sent by the vendor through the vendor portal in the next step they selected the, the vendor and then we converted that rfq request for documentation into the purchase order and we'll processing that purchase order further in the usmf legal entity and then we will send this purchase order to the vendor through that vendor portal so let's see how this all this process happen using the environment itself so in the first step we create an rfq document and try to send it to the vendor through vendor portal and see how we can communicate between the vendor and our company using the vendor portal so let me uh, so for to creating the rfq we'll navigate to the procurement sourcing module or uh, create an rfq click on this new button and expand the rfq quotation of uh, so here i'm going to quickly create an rfq from here so i'll just click on this new option or in the purchase type by default it's a purchase order so which means that i know if i created an rfq from the purchase requisition so it's by default the purchase order and here i have set the uh, expiration date to the 31st may which means that i want to expire uh, this quotation or uh, request for uh, rfq will be expired by the 31st of 31st may of this month so which means that this particular uh, vendor needs to be bid this or provide me with the quotation before the 31st of may okay after which this particular rfq will be expired for the vendor and it will be gone from your uh, vendor portal this is from the specific section within the vendor portal so this is uh, valid only until the end of this month so then we can ch uh, choose a warehouse which is important say okay so that's create a quick rfq document so now let's add an item into the rfq document so hdmi cable is something that i am going to process i am going to request for quote from the vendor for that hdmi cable so at the moment uh, the hdmi cable doesn't have any unit price because the unit price will be the quote by the vendor so let's get into the header section of that rfq and add the list of vendors to whom we'll be sending the rfq so this is the vendor fabric and electronics for which uh, we have provided the vendor collaboration access so that that is done for the vendor because we have provided only uh, access to this particular vendor so now let's send this code to the vendor for this you need to click on this send button and this code is sent to the particular vendor which we have added in the vendor list and so click on ok so the code is successfully sent to uh, our vendor in dynamics we also have that option to code general request request for code journal so choose the vendor get into the preview print preview and print the rfq uh, pdf this uh, this method we generally use for the manually sending the rfq to the vendor so in the our by using this vendor portal we no need to uh, download this rfq attach this pdf format into email and send it email to the vendor because in the vendor portal system automatically send the notification to the vendor with the rfq document on their vendor portal so now we again on uh, move to the vendor portal we are on a vendor portal we click on the vendor bidding option so here you can see that new bid invitation is created because we have sent it 
uh, RFQ from the, our headquarter level and he, this new RFQ that is waiting and or pending for his approval so from this vendor collaboration portal I will be able to get into the RFQ document and now I have shared view of the RFQ document between the organization uh, USMF and the vendor so currently I am playing the role of the vendor so now I can view this so here the item that is that is to be quoted for vendor is that quotation so here I am quote or propose a price so for this I need to click on this bid button or if I see this item I feel that this item is not in our stock or I may not be able to participate in that RFQ process I can just simply click on this decline option so that is why I am just reject rejecting the this offer so for now I am going to participate I am just click on this bid option so as soon as I click on this bid option I just go back to my previous screen and refresh it so it's gone from the new bid invitation and I find the option of uh, enter the price unit price for this uh, particular item so I click on edit button and let me propose a price of thousand dollars and save it you can even do the some changes like uh, in the header section in delivery and payment term option so let's say organization is requested to delivery this stock on the 15th May as a proposed date earlier in the second so there might be vendor will be choosing you over other vendor because your delivery faster so you can even propose a delivery term or delivery date more than delivery deliver everything so you can even make a changes in the RFQ document here and all these changes will be also visible from the USMF legal entity so for now I am just doing some changes for the item and I can even attach a bid attached document uh, using this vendor portal additional information also vendor can attach if there is any uh, RFQ attachment that uh, USMF legal entity has attached with additional information I can even view them from the RFQ attachment section so for now I just go and sub submit this bid so to my vendor so this give me a message which means that even if I submitted it now by clicking yes I will still have the option to recall this bid any number of time until I reach the expiry date okay so expiry date is the end of this month so until the end of this month I have fully luxury to recall this bid any time and make some changes and resubmit it back again so anyways I said yes and this bid will be automatically submitted to the vendor okay so we have successfully submitted our bid so now the vendor has performed his task so so we have moved from a bid in progress queue to the submitted queue so currently it's in submitted queue so now I'm going back to the USMF company so here in the in uh, in our HQ dashboard and I refresh it it says that received so which means that I have already received the code from the vendor so if in case if the uh, other than this if vendor don't have the vendor collaboration access so this vendor need to go and read that email uh, which sent by the organization and give the reply in the form of email once I receive that email as an organization I need to get into manage reply section and update the uh, update their bid value so this process I see automatically updated for the vendor which have that vendor portal access so here I open the quotation under the quotation I have one bid with the unit price of thousand so I selected the price and accept the price in the quotation level in the next we have that option of compare replies but currently we have sent this uh, RFQ for the one vendor and receive the bid uh, only from the one vendor so I have just select the one line and accept this price so as soon as I accept and say ok system processing my acceptance and system will automatically create and purchase order in the system so system created the purchase order in the system you can check the purchase order from procurement so seeing all purchase order section and click on all purchase order and uh, filter this purchase order using our vendor uh, vendor name or vendor code so this purchase order is successfully created from the RFQ and you will see that the same item and the same price is automatically added uh, so now the next step is again intimating the vendor about the purchase order so 
that the vendor can go ahead and confirm the purchase order and fulfill the purchase order through the vendor portal I'll click on the purchase option and click on confirm and send this confirmation to the vendor so in the vendor portal we will see that how the process further purchase order process so here we have sent this purchase uh, confirmation to the vendor so now we again go back to our vendor portal and see how the purchase order are processed on the uh, vendor portal so here you can see that in the purchase order re for review queue it's already added one purchase order and one is open confirm purchase order again navigate to the purchase order and op this time we open this purchase order so here we have that option to accept or reject the purchase order so for this demonstration I am accepting the purchase order but if in case as a vendor if you are not able to fulfill this uh, purchase request so you can directly reject this order and this status of this rejection is automatically updated in the Dirichlet finance and operation so this time I accept this purchase order and you can see that in the dynamics the status from in external review is updated to the confirmed so also one more thing in the setup as you remember if we have enabled the auto confirmation within the vendor master then your purchase order will be automatically confirmed from the status also changed to approve as per that configuration our status of the purchase order is also automatically confirmed in the directify so now we have one more feature that is vendor collaboration which is called as a purchase invoice so let's explore this feature so for that I need to process this purchase order further so which the which means that I am assuming that the vendor has delivered the HDML cable now at my doorstep so let me go and receive this this product by posting the product receipt so our receive process is done our HDML is received into my warehouse successfully so it is received so now after receiving or uh, creating an invoice and posting so it's normally manually create an invoice because invoice is normally sent by the vendor along with the shipment as a hard copy so we'll look into the invoice and key in the invoice in the system by creating invoice against that purchase order or the invoice comes later through email so look into the email and just copy the invoice by creating the invoice into the purchase order so either way is creating the invoice normally manually keyed into the within a purchase order but when you have that access of vendor collaboration portal this entire invoicing process can be automated so lot of manual effort can be avoided meaning the vendor can actually create an invoice for you directly from the vendor portal so I'm not going to create an invoice from uh, dynamics now let's try to get create a vendor uh, invoice from the vendor portal so again I'm playing the role of the vendor so then I create an invoice so for that I click on this invoice option so in the invoicing section currently we don't have any open or draft invoice so we click on this new option and create a new invoice so once we click on this create new option we'll get the option to select the purchase order against which we are creating the invoice so I am selecting the um, our purchase order which we have received and in the purchase order status you can also see the status of the purchase order which is updated from dynamics to the vendor portal so I have selected that purchase order and creating the invoice in the invoice of so the invoice is created now I save this invoice once I save this invoice the workflow option is enabled over here so we will send this uh, workflow to the dynamics uh, accounts to the organization this workflow will be send this invoice to the organization for next approval process so here vendor can only create this invoice and send this invoice uh, to the organization through vendor collaboration portal so we'll click on this workflow option submit this workflow and here you uh, vendor can uh, also include the comments which they want to enter for the organization to approve this invoice they can enter the comments over here and submit this invoice so once they submitted their invoices uh, in dynamics dashboard accounts user can navigate to the invoice and in the pending invoice section they will able to see the invoices which is created from the uh, vendor portal will open this invoice and here we have that option to approve this workflow 
so we again click on the user click on that workflow option approve this workflow enter the comment and post this invoice so here we have com uh, complete our demonstration now we'll move to the next topic of agenda uh, Q&A session so